Okay. So when you read this question, the first thing is actually what? Looking for your KC. We know the KC is 1.15 times 10 to the second, right? Can you use small x approximation? You cannot, right? Because it's between 10 to negative 4 and 10 to the 4. So we know small x approximation is not going to work. So that's the first things that you need to know. Then we go to the second step, write down your equations H2 plus F2. That gives you 2HF, right? And then we know when to do the ice table. So one thing I emphasize a lot in the previous lecture is that every time when we do all these calculations, the things you put into your ice table has to be concentration. Don't put it in number of moles. So in this case, you can see that the information in the question is actually three more of H2, six more of F2 mixed in three liters flask, right? So you can actually convert that into concentration first rather than putting number of moles. So the concentration is very easy to define. So number of mole liter of your solution, that's an equation you're going to use to convert number of mole into concentration. So in this case, in the initial conditions, you have three more of H2, right? It's going to flow in into a three liter flask. Therefore, the concentration will be just one, right? Three over three equals to one. How about your F2? It's six over three, right? So that's two. And then because they are just mixed together, right? So in the initial condition, you don't have any HF yet. So then the reaction is going to occur. Some change is going to happen. Right now you have a lot of reactants, right? So some of the reactants is going to go to the product side. So assuming this X concentration of H2 has been consumed, then under this case, you know, it's also minus X, right? How about things on the right hand side for your product? Should be plus 2x, right? And the reason is 2x is because if you consume one more of H2, one more of F2, you can produce two more of HF. That's why you have two here. Then <clears throat> you're going to reach equilibrium. So equilibrium will be just the sum of these two, right? So this will be one minus X. 2 minus x, this will be just 2x. So let's actually your step number two. Step number three, you want to actually use this information and your KEQ to solve for your x. So your KEQ is going to equals to HF concentration to the second power over H2 concentration to the first power, F2 concentration to the first power. So for your HF concentration, at equilibrium we know is 2x squared. And for your H2, it should be 1 minus x. For your F2, it should be 2 minus x. Okay, and then these things should equals to the Kc provided inside the equation. So 1.15 times 10 to the second power is just simply 115, right? So we're going to use this relationship to solve your x. Because you cannot actually do the small x approximation, right? So you cannot make this one roughly equals to one, this roughly equals two, okay? You cannot do this in this case. So you cannot do that. So the, instead, the things you do is actually, you need to actually expand all these things. So on the left hand side, on the top, you're going to get 4x squared. Right, so this is going to give you 4x squared. At the bottom, you're going to just multiply in. Okay, so the first term will be 2 minus x. So that will give you 2, that give you minus x. And this give you minus 2x and then plus x squared. 
and the whole thing is going to equal to 115. And then I'm going to multiply these things on both sides. So I got 4x squared on the left. On the right hand side will be this multiplied to, I'm going to combine these two terms, 3x plus x squared. Then I'm going to multiply these things in. This is going, going to give me 330 minus 345x plus 115 x squared. Yeah, 230. Then I can actually move these things to this. OK, so I can got 111 x squared minus 345 x plus 230 is going to equal to 0. Then we can actually use the equations, right? Once you see this uh, second order polynomial equations, we know you can solve for your x x is going to equals to, right? So this is actually equation I provide in the hangout sheet. So this is equation you're going to use, where the A is going to equals to 111, B is going to equals to negative 345, C is going to equals to 230. Then you just plug all these numbers in into that equation, then you can just solve for your x. So if you do all the things, then you got actually two x. So the x is going to equal to 2.14 or 0.9684. Which number is actually the correct number? So in order to make the proper judgment, you want to see this this and this. We know at equilibrium, the concentration of H2 is going to equal to 1 minus x. Concentration of your F2 is going to equal to 2 minus x. Concentration of your HF is equal to 2x, right? And we all know that like, concentration has to be a positive value, right? So if you look at your x, your x is either 2.14 or 0.9684. Okay, so if your concentration is 2.14, that's going to give you a negative H2, which doesn't make any sense. So you know, this cannot be your answer. This has to be the correct answer that you can use. So once you have that number, you can actually back calculate your H2 concentration. So this will be actually 1 minus 0.9684. This will be 2 minus 0.9684. And then this will be 2 times 0.9684. So you're going to get the answer. OK, that will be actually the concentration of each species at equilibrium. And then you can actually plug all this number back in to calculate your k, then you can confirm all this calculation is done properly. Okay, the most difficult part, okay, for these things is that you cannot use small x approximation. So this part, this operation sometimes will actually, you know, make you feel very confused. So you need to practice this part carefully, okay? So once you have done with all these calculations, you've got the two numbers to know how you can judge which one is actually the correct number to use. So these are the two most important parts that students typically make mistakes. But if you know these things clearly, then you should not you should be fine.